is one D. I mean in one plane, in X Y plane. What about three D surfaces? So we talked about uh, a line. Okay, so we talked about line. Can we deduce the equation of a line through through differential calculus? Can we deduce an uh, equation of a surface through differential calculus? Now I have a volume. Earlier I had x y plane. Now we have x z and y z plane three D dimension. Now I have two independent variables x and y. This is multivariate. Multivariable condition. Now I have two independent variables, x and y. If there are two independent variables, then there is a dependent variable that is f x y. So if I have a plane and one is x and one is y, then dependent variable upon f x y x y that is f x y should be orthogonal. So that is we say it is a z. So I can say z equal to f x y. Z equal to function on x and y two independent variables. Okay, now it is a kind of uh, a surface. Okay, so this is a surface. Now, if I consider this as x y plane, okay, then if it is like this, then it is tilted along x axis. Is tilted along y axis also. So from negative, or if I say like this, then as x grows positive, the tilt, okay, along x axis means f, x, then it is growing. The x value grows as we go along x axis, but y axis decreases. Y value decreases if we go go along y axis. So not necessarily. If I go for a linear equation, when we see a three dimension, then it is not necessary that if we uh, get something increase in x direction, it would increase in y direction. Both are independent variables. So along x axis, uh, our plane is uh, uh, going up, and along y axis, the plane is going down. Now, what would be the equation of plane? So if it was uh, on one plane, then equation was y minus y y minus beta equal to dy by dx x minus alpha. Now we have z equal to f x y. So can I say z minus gamma equal to d z by d y y minus beta? Plus d z by d x x minus alpha. Same thing. Y minus beta equal to d y by d x x minus alpha. Then z minus gamma equal to d z by d x x minus alpha plus d z by d y y minus beta. The, mo the most crucial point here is how I calculate is dz by dx and dz by dy for two independent variables x and y. If x and y are orthogonal to each other, then we will calculate dz by dx variation in z. How many units they vary? If x vary. If x vary some unit with respect to that much unit variation in x, how much z vary? dz by dy. If y varies some unit with respect to some unit variation in y, how much z vary? So if it is x y plane, so if x and y are on x y plane, then z is the height. Then, if something varies in x along x axis, then because of that variation, how much height varies? If something varies on y direction, 
Then with the variation in y direction, how much height vary? dz by dy, dz by dx. So that is differential gravity. So how z vary? Earlier we calculated dy by dx. If there is a variation in x, then how much y would vary? But now if I calculate dy by dz by dx, we have to make sure that it happens on x-axis or parallel to x-axis means y should be constant. If I calculate dz by dy, it must happen on y-axis or parallel to y-axis means x should be constant. Okay. Now, when we are calculating dz by dx, now if I know that plane passes through two points, then we have to make sure that y, x, y, z is one point, x, y, z is another point, then y component in both the points should be constant. If that is the case, then change in x, how much change in y, z comes through. So, if, so for every unit of change in x, how many unit of change happens in z? If I need to calculate dz by dy, then I will pick two points on the plane where x is constant, 0 very nice, otherwise it should be constant. Then per unit variation in y, how many unit of variation it brings in z, that is dz by dy. If that is the case, then now I have to know a point through which plane passes through. And that point is alpha, beta, and gamma. If that is true, then z minus gamma equal to dz by dx, x minus alpha, plus dz by dy, y minus beta. Solve it, and you get the equation of a plane. Aeroplane. <laughs> okay, that also flies in 3D. This is equation of a plane. We are deducing equation of a plane where two independent variables are on a, on a plane and dependent variable is orthogonal to each of them that we came through that it should be zx. Oh, I mean I told about the linear equation in xy plane line linear line means a straight line linear equation in x y z that is linear plane what about 4d we talked about 2d 3d what about 4d where we have f function f that is dependent upon three independent variables x y and z we cannot uh, kind of draw it because x, y, z, now all three become independent variables. The dependent variable upon them would be something that we can imagine. If that is the case, then what we are trying to reduce the formula, that is a key, that is 3D, like Q, sphere, okay, or a parallel, uh, paraboloid or something like that. Cone, cone, parallelogram. If that is the scenario, then f x y f function of x y z. Then, if it is a linear, suppose, then how how we can deduce a formula through differential calculus? Think about. It.